welcome back to Pino Cucina. Today we're going to be making some frittelle of zucchini flowers. Now back in Italy these were seasonal, so we only used to get them once a year. And we only allowed to have only a few because if we pick all the flowers then there'd be no zucchini to pick when we treasured them. So this is what you do. So can you see how it's got the little stalk still there on this little zucchini? So we need to cut that off. I have washed these but just check that there's nothing sort of uh, stuck inside because they love little critters love to uh, to hide in there. So they're, they're just as good even if they come without the zucchini like that, just the flowers. So all we need to do is just roughly chop them now. It's a bit of a shame to cut them, they look so beautiful. And we're also using the stalks. We use everything on here. We're not cutting it too big because we like to have nice chunky pieces in our fratelli. We just set them aside in a different bowl. Now the ones with the little zucchini, we do the same. We just cut them up into little pieces. Okay, now I've got all this chopped up. And as you can see, these are basically all the ingredients that uh, we used to have. This is for the cucina povera, which wasn't really that poor. Um, it was just the flour. We used to grow our own wheat. The cheese, the next door neighbor used to have the sheep and <laughs> made the cheese. The vegetables, everybody used to grow vegetables. And we had our own olive trees. So really with these few ingredients, we used to make nearly everything. And water, of course. We didn't have a fridge, so we couldn't have milk. We only used to have it in ricotta in the morning. That's about it. So now, all we need to do now is to mix the water with some flour. So we're putting in, based on that, I'm going to make that in two lots. So I'm gonna do half of them now. So I think maybe two cups of flour. What we do now is we put some water and mix it to a nice paste, almost like a fish batter. And a little bit at a time if you don't make it too watery. So when the flour is all mixed in, we're gonna drop a couple of eggs. My eggs are in, so I mix them all in. I think with the egg, it tops the fritella from being um, soaking up all the oil because it's plain flour. It's not, it doesn't have any other rising agent, not that we need it to. But I'm really not sure. My mum used to do this, so I'm sticking with it. And the eggs all nicely mixed. We're going to add some cheese. Now, I've put one cup, but the best way to test this is to taste it. Okay, now we need to put a bit of salt and pepper. I've changed to this pink salt. It told me it's much better for you. The smell of this fresh cracked pepper is beautiful, isn't it? We'll give a bit of a stir, and then we'll give it a bit of a taste, see if it needs anything else. So I'm going to taste and see if I can taste everything. Not bad. Salt and pepper is good. We might put a touch more of pecorino cheese. So about another quarter of a cup. So if you don't taste the cheese, then they're not gonna come out nice. And lastly, we need to put in the main ingredients and a bit of basil. So we want a nice, thick consistency. Not too runny, not too solid. Okay, so this is done. So you can see it's sort of sticky. I'm gonna be putting half of this because I'm doing it in two batches. some basil and mix everything together. And once everything is combined, it's ready for the pan. Okay, now we just gotta get some olive oil and we put it in our pan. We're putting in a, a generous amount of olive oil in here, as you can see. Make sure that the oil is nice and hot, otherwise they're gonna get all soggy with oil, the, your fritelle, and they're not gonna be nice. So here we go. Now that's what you wanna hear when you drop it in. Beautiful sizzle, there we go. If you're very clever, you can make different shapes. Now you only need to turn them once. So you can sort of check a little bit on the bottom, see if they're done. 
but you can really tell from the sides when they're nice and brown, that means you need to turn them around. I find using two forks is easy. Oh, that is the colour we're looking for. That is absolutely beautiful. We've got some that are ready. Now, I hope they taste as good as they look. There you go. They're beautiful golden brown on the outside and everything in there is cooked through. The flour, the eggs, the zucchini. That's what you're looking for. It's absolutely delicious. Now this is a great way of hiding vegetables for the children. This is the only way my kids used to have vegetables. If I did them in fratella like this and they just love them. I hope you do too. Fratella, the zucchini flowers.